Hello guys, Lewis here. Welcome back to another video, and uh, this is a pretty important one on how you can use the Lua scripts. Now, this is a general tutorial for all Lua scripts, but mainly the ones that come with 3.0, 3.1, 3.2. Obviously, at the moment of recording, only 3.0 is out, but this will also apply for future versions of the mod. Um, I did make a tutorial on this before, but it's outdated now. There's now more Lua scripts. I didn't explain it very well, so this is a much more up-to-date, much better tutorial. Now, it's the same process for uh, Lua scripts for, say, uh, you know, 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, but those versions don't work with the latest FIFA update. Lua scripts are a bit different, so, um, I mean, 3.0 is the current only version that works at the time of recording this video. When you're watching it, there's a good chance it may have changed. Again, check out other videos. Um, so if you don't know what 3.0 is, it's the latest version of my mod. It has 600 plus new faces, manager faces, tattoos, referee faces, everything like that. Um, I have a link to a trailer in it that goes over, you know, the biggest things and shows a very flashy, then a features list if you want to actually, you know, read everything in it. And then a tutorial with more info and how you can actually install it. So basically what the Lua script does is apply the faces, tattoos, manager faces, etc. to your current career save or squad file. So say that you started a career file with a, a beta or an alpha of 3.0 or 2.2 or 2.1 or 1.1 or, or, uh, or, you know, an older version. Um, obviously since then lots of faces were added, lots of tattoos were added um, and updated. So you can use this to get those faces in that current career mode. Maybe you started the career with a squad file that didn't have the faces, either a realism one or another squad file that did not have the faces. You can get them in this save. Um, and again, this also applies for the future. Maybe you started a career with 3.0 and now you're using 3.1 and you want to get the uh, 100 new faces and 3.1 you can apply the Lua script. Um, or maybe you can do it directly to your squad file if you want to use it for kickoff or for all the career modes you're starting. Say you're uh, you're using not a Realism mod squad file, maybe one from another mod, maybe your own custom one, etc. You can use this. So let me first show you that I don't have the faces applied uh, by going to edit player. And we can right away see, uh, let me go back here, we can see that Will Bear does not have a face, that uh, however you pronounce him, that Daka does not. But let me also go uh, to the Premier League and look at a team like Manchester United. We can see a player like Greenwood does not have a real face, or Bruno Fernandes does not have a real face. So we're going to change that. So the first thing we want to do is install the cheat engine. Now, I'm not going to go over that since uh, I've already made a tutorial on it. I'll go over it actually quickly. But um, uh, link is in the description to a full tutorial on how to do it. You want to get the version 6.8.1. Um, and there's another little tip that uh, I recommend doing. So uh, this is just going to be the super simplified way to install it. You want to go to the link that I have in the description, or you can go to the video link and watch a more in-depth tutorial. But if you're good with computers, this is enough. Go to the GitHub link uh, for Cheat Engine 6.8.1, which is the version that you need. Otherwise, you may experience some issues, especially if you're using 7.0 or 7.1. Uh, so scroll down and then don't download the source code, download just the exe. Now this is an installer. Um, now the cheat engine itself is 100% safe, but when installing it, uh, or installing it the normal way, you may uh, it may install some programs that you not like. Normally you can opt out of this, but the sizing was a bit off in this version, so you know, it's basically bad luck. So what you want to do is just disconnect your Wi-Fi. So you can go to your little Wi-Fi symbol here, click on it. Um, and then you're just going to click the disconnect box when it pops up. You don't actually need to unplug your Wi-Fi or turn it off or anything. You can do that if it's more convenient. But just go disconnect and make sure nothing's connected. Um, and then you want to open the EXE. Uh, and then go through its processes and it won't be able to download any... Uh, it won't be able to download the uh, 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 programs that it would normally install. So you just click it. It may ask you if you want to run as administrator. Just click yes. Um, so then you go through installing it. Do that. Uh, again, if you have an antivirus, make an exception for it or fully uninstall it because antiviruses are pretty useful. Windows Defender should be fine. But yeah, just don't put it in your program. Uh, just put it wherever you want, really. Uh, put it ideally on the same drive as FIFA and stuff, um, but it shouldn't really matter. So just do that, and then what you want to do is open it, and I'll do that right now. So I have it open here. Then I want to drag the live editor onto it. Now the li uh, the live editor is just the program that uh, you know can dig into the to, in the FIFA EXE and make all these changes and stuff. So uh, if you have it, if you don't have it installed, head over to the download link. Again, I made a tutorial on how to install the live editor too. Same same one link in the description. But just head to patreoncom Actu. Don't worry, you don't have to pay. It's free. You can get early access. Uh, I'm his Patreon. Obviously, I recommend UB2 because he does he does really really fantastic work. But uh, we can see the latest version here, uh, this one. Um, and you just want to download the MSI, which is the automatic installer, or the zip, and then uh, extract all the files onto a folder, not in program files, in your documents folder, um, or the MSI, and you know let it install where you want to put it. 
Um, so then basically do that, I put it here. Again, if you want a more detailed tutorial, if something's not working or whatever, first join the Discord, of course, um, but watch that tutorial. So then when you get it, just click on it, hold down, drag it onto here. Now just give it a minute, uh, depending on how good your PC is, it could take a bit longer, uh, but it shouldn't take that long. Just has to do some stuff. It goes not responding. Don't worry, that's normal. Just give it some time. Um, and then it should basically just pop up and say that it's ready. And here we go, live editor is ready to use. Just click OK. Then this GUI thing, this black box, just click X, you don't need it. Click memory view up here. Then go control L or file or tools Lua engine. Um, and then you want to go control O to open the scripts or go file open script. So then you want to head to the releases folder. Now again, I released a 3.0 fix for patrons. By the time, if uh, on the 11th when the actual mod is out, you won't have to worry about this because I will have incorporated that into the actual final release. But uh, I released a 3.0 fix. I'll link it in the description. It just fixes a few minor bugs. So uh, you know, if there were, there are two Lewis scripts here, so I recommend just replace them. Uh, replace the ones. Just drag them into 3.0 from the RAR and then just replace them so they're all in the same folder. Um, because the 3.0s, nothing game breaking or anything, but there's just a few tweaks that unlocks one more face with the 3.0 fixes one. Again, if you're downloading this on 11th and you're not a Patreon, you don't have to worry. But if you're downloading it before the 11th, before the public release, download 3.0 fix, it's free, in the description. Um, and uh, just uh, extract the files there. So the first thing you wanna do is click on the face designer. This adds the new faces. So De Jong, Martinelli, Arthur, Bruno Fernandez, Greenwood, Huts, uh, Tamori, uh, Billy Gilmore, stuff like that. Uh, in 3.0, there's 600, uh, a bit more maybe. So just double click on that, open it. You can see the script here. You can see all the, the, the faces and stuff it does. Just click execute. Now, this normally for me takes like 20 seconds for you, or even quicker. Uh, I may say this, it depends on what squad file you use because some may not have all the, 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 the different players and stuff. Um, but yeah, it could take a minute. It might go not responding. Don't worry, just give it time. Um, so then that will apply the faces. Then go control O again or file open and then click on the manager ones. Again, you don't have to use all these. You just want to use the ones that you want to use. The manager faces, uh, again, just click uh, uh, and then I'll assign the manager faces. So like, uh, you know, Nuno Esperito Santos at Wills, Brendan Rogers at Leicester City, Sari at Juventus. Then do it again for tattoos. This assigns all the tattoos. Um, so for Hector Bellerin, for Luis Suarez, for, uh, you know, all those players. Done, easy, again, just give it time if it's not working, then make use faces generic. Uh, basically, you can't add new faces, you have to replace them. So for all these faces I've added, I've replaced faces of low rated players, low potential rated players. Ones that you may notice, but it's not like, would you rather have this uh, this face of a, of a 33 year old 64 rated player, or this face of a 19 year old, uh, you know, player with 90 potential, or Bruno Fernandez, or Dion, you know. So just click execute for this. I highly recommend it. Otherwise, you will run into a few errors where you'll see wrong skin tones and just wrong faces. Like maybe Lee Grant on Manchester United will have uh, the face of someone with a different skin tone or someone just completely different. Uh, now, you may still run into a few of those faces as the squad file isn't perfect. But if you're doing it for public release, it should be fine as I'll have uh, fix those. So then go to add a player and straight away we can see the new faces in someone like Wobear has a new face. You know, Daka has a new face, he has a new face, Anguene has a new face, et cetera, et cetera. You can see some more popular ones. You go to Arsenal, um, like uh, Saka, Saka's new face. There's a few extras here. Again, face updates like Mizzet Ozil, Aubameyang, Pepe, Lacazette, they don't need a Lua script. They just edit the existing files. So as long as you have the FB mod applied, it's fine. But you can see like Inkedia there. Um, who else? Martinelli. Uh, let's go to another play, uh, team, Chelsea. Easy one here to find is, where is he? Uh, again, we can see tattoos, like there's one for Drew. Reese James, there's his new one. And if you actually go back to Arsenal, we can see someone like Hector Bellerin's tattoos. A uh, uh, team like Liverpool, you know, you got lots of face updates, but they don't need one. Uh, let's look at an example. Here, Wijnaldum, he has his tattoos. You've got Roberto Firmino with his tattoos. You got Minamino with his new face, Vandenberg, Williams, LaRouche, Jones, Keller, uh, Adam Lewis, B. Elliott, uh, Glatzel, you know, all those new faces. Let's go through another team, Manchester United. 
got lots of tattoos like for Lindelof and uh, you know face for Greenwood uh, uh, you know face for Bruno Fernandez with his little tattoo again lots of face updates Rashford has his tattoos And we can see Lee Grant's face is, is generic, obviously, but you know, in place of that, we have a face for James Garner and one for Laird, uh, you know, and one for Le uh, Levitt. Um, so I loaded up a save uh, with Jose Mourinho that I made uh, just for some testing. Applied the manager faces Lewis script, and uh, let's just see uh, Nuno's face in action here. As you can see, uh, don't mind Mourinho's manager outfit. I was using a manager outfit mod that made it look good. Okay, ignore that. But uh, as you can see, it does work for all saves. There is uh, Nuno's face, and you'll see a lot of others too. Um, but yeah, uh, that's basically it. That's how you apply all the Lewis scripts. Simple as that. Uh, if you run into any issues, join the Discord, of course. But I mean, that is basically it. A ton of face updates. We can uh, and new faces. Let's try Barcelona. There's a ton, like a new face for Semedo and his tattoos. A uh, ton of face updates, obviously. But you know, we got a new face for Messi. Got a new face for Young, Luis Suarez's tattoos, Arthur's face, Vidal's tattoos. Um, who else do you have over here? You got Rakitic's new tattoos, Alenia's face and tattoos, Perez's face and tattoos, Tabito's face, Fati's face, Puig's face, Wage's face, Ab's face, Riez, uh, Ruiz's face, Calado's face, uh, Quincia, Ajaro. Pena, so many, so many faces. Um, I mean, yeah, let's just take a look at Frankie Diong here. Got so, so many faces, as we can see, all, all very, very good. So yeah, that's how you apply all the Lewis scripts. I hope this helps. Again, if you have any problems, make sure you join the Discord, and uh, we can help you live. But yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.